take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. The most exciting way to catch any fish is at the surface. There's just something about seeing the water blow up before your eyes, and it's highly addictive. Many anglers pray for calm conditions to get that next topwater fix. For anyone who's experienced this visual display, you can't help notice how many fish are missed in the process. Perfect timing in hook sets is one component. The real problem is that nearly all topwater baits are hard baits. Fish immediately realize they've made a mistake. The solution to this problem is soft baits, which can easily be modified to act as surface lures. Begin by checking packaging labels to locate those designated as floating. Even so, you'll need to experiment with hooks. Better still, use floating jig heads to ensure your bait's right on the surface. With that, you can turn any soft bait imaginable into a topwater killer. When it comes to finesse situations, expand on this idea even further. Take a bait and run a bamboo skewer into it, thereby creating an internal chamber. Next, use a worm blower to inject a pocket of air. Weedless or otherwise, you're ready for serious topwater action. Just recently, a few soft frog imitations have entered the market, but cost more than an entire package of your favorite soft baits. Some fish are simply designed to feed on bottom. There's no mistaking that downturned vacuum cleaner of a mouth. While certain bottom feeders may take food at eye level, it's best to lay it flat out. Being a bit too high may end in a refusal. Apart from these notorious bottom huggers, most species of fish participate in this feeding behavior from time to time, based upon forage location. During a tough bite, working along bottom is still a great way to turn things around. The necessity to present bait this way is also a sign of the times, a direct result of heavy fishing pressure. These days, many fish have been caught and released a number of times. We named this big largemouth Scarface. Highly conditioned, we saw him take a leech without hesitation. When we served up a fresh one on a plain finesse jig, he was really put off. No matter what we presented at eye level, it was turned down. But when we bottomed out to the very same bait, it was a totally different story, most likely because he couldn't see the line. It's a fact that fish are becoming increasingly line shy, even with the best fluorocarbon. Clear water steelhead frequently become hypersensitive to any type of line, refusing suspended baits. Now see what happens when you lay it all on bottom, hook, line, and sinker.